which of you which of you is a hero and when i am saying the word hero what comes to your mind amitabh bachchan rajnikanth that's our idea of hero right the heroes that we see on in, in movies and of course nowadays we we are also very fond of superheroes i right? all those movies that we see spider man and all that but supposing i said supposing i said that this the next 5 or 6 minutes we are going to be speaking about a hero's journey which hero do you think we are going to be talking about which hero the superhero or the amitabh bachchan and the rajnikanth which hero i think most of you are starting to guess we are going to be speaking about you as the hero that's the hero's journey you as the hero you you know before you start listening to this if you can watch that video you know pause now and watch that video it will really make sense what i am saying will really make sense because what i am saying is only to ratify what you are already seeing in the video just an emphasis that is all so can i please request you to stop to pause and watch that video please all right if you have watched that video you will you start to understand what i'm going to speak about so here the purpose of including this session in week 8 is to help you realize that each one of you is a hero in the context of biomimicry each one of you can be a hero because you can show the world how a problem can be solved and actually give some solace to the world with your solution if you are going to do that you are a hero because what is a hero a hero is one who who when there is trouble when someone is in trouble does something to help that someone so if you are a if you are a biomimicry hero what does it mean it means you know that the earth is in trouble and you know that using the learning from nature you can save the earth and if you actually do that if you quickly go learn biomimicry which you are doing now and use the learning to solve a problem in this case the unsgg problem and you come back with that solution and you use that solution to mitigate the problems in the world then aren't you a hero isn't this very obvious that that a hero need not necessarily be someone that we see on screen or someone who has done some great thing to the world it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be that only einstein has to be the hero or only a screen hero has to be the hero look the video simply tells you that every one of you is a hero and what i'm going to say now is just to reinforce how the hero's journey happens in all of us so for instance of course there are several stages that that the video talks about but i'm only going to talk about five stages essential stages in the hero's journey the first is call to adventure what does it mean that all of us many times many times in our life right not just once many times in our life hear a call it could be anything right now it's a biomimicry call it could be anything it could be go back to when you were 16 years old or 17 years old and you had to leave school there was a call for you right you you wanted to do, some of you wanted to do college some of you wanted to do something else some of you wanted to do uh, you know a catering course some of you wanted to do uh, um, you know the med medicine some of you wanted to do engineering 
each of you heard different drummers as you would say and only you could hear the drummer and therefore there was a call to adventure you stopped being a school student you started a new new journey in your life either as a college student or as a professional or as 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 you know um, anything at all call to adventure is stage 1 we are only looking at the stages so the right now the call to adventure for all of you is the biomimicry call the call to say that the nature is demanding that you help nature nature is calling you that is your call to adventure so what is the step 2 step 2 is getting ready how does it fit in with this you are getting ready by doing these 8 weeks what you have done you have got ready for the adventure if you are going to college what would you do you will start applying to different colleges you would start preparing papers you would start preparing your certificate you will start getting you will start looking at your finances you will start getting ready right now the getting ready here in the biomimicry context is learning biomimicry is understanding biomimicry is teaching biomimicry is practicing biomimicry right so you are getting ready what is the third stage the third stage is getting help and resources can it be more obvious so for here mrali and i here to help you and the in the npetel program is the resources janine benius's book is a resource all the books that we will suggest to you are resources asknature.org is a resource so you are getting unscg is a resource for you to look for a problem right call to adventure nature is calling you getting ready getting ready with all your all your knowledge the process of biomimicry the 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 approaches to biomimicry the unscg the problem that you want to solve your emotional connect to the problems how uh, the the questions that you are framing everything is getting ready getting help and resources looking at the videos writing to us calling us asking us for doubts getting ready and with uh, getting help and resources and facing setbacks and being successful come on you will have to agree that facing a setback in a journey is part of the journey how many times have you gone on a train journey when suddenly the train has stopped and someone says there has been an accident in front in, in the front and therefore the train is going to be delayed by 2 hours which means subsequently whatever you are planning to do is going to get delayed too how many times have you got delayed in an airport when the flight is not on time and therefore the meeting that you're going to attend is not going to happen on time facing setbacks so facing so there will be setbacks there will be uh, and and you know when you look at the process of uh, the process of creativity there will be a, a a problem with the way you have defined the problem there will be a problem with the organism that you did not choose there will be a problem with the evaluate but you have to keep on and it's not a failure it's not a failure it's just that you keep on iterating iterating being successful as much as failure is part of the journey so therefore when you start your journey you're not going to decide whether you're going to be fail you're going to be ending up in a failure or you're going to be successful you are just going to understand that in the journey failure and successes are going to happen <clears throat> and finally stage 5 you you either solve the problem or you don't and you come back and you start all over again so this this lecture has been designed by the two of us especially because we want you to understand that every one of you is a biomimicry hero and the very fact that you even enrolled for this program means that you are one of those special people who heard a call to adventure the call from nature all of us are heroes in the biomimicry journey and we are hoping that all of us will be able to meet on a heroes day or something like that and share each other's stories of the journey really looking forward to find out what adventure each of you had